We're asked to express the area of the entire rectangle below as a trinomial. We have our rectangle here, and it's broken up into these three smaller rectangles. And we see for all of these rectangles, the height here is four units. And then the widths are expressed in terms, or at least the first two are expressed in terms of x. And then this last one has a width of two. So what's the area of the entire rectangle? I encourage you to pause the video and think about it. Well, what's the area of this blue? This blue, it looks like a square, but it, let's just call it a rectangle, which all squares are rectangles, so that's safe. Well, it's going to be the height times the width. So the area here is going to be the height, which is four, times the width, which is x squared. And then we to that, we want to add the area of this, of this, I guess we could say this salmon colored rectangle. And well, that's going to be the height four times the width 3x. So we could say four times 3x. We could write it like that. But what is four times 3x? Well, it's going to be 12x. If I have 3x four times, I have 12x's. So that's going to be 12x. 12x is the area of this salmon colored rectangle. And then finally, the area of this green rectangle, we actually can figure out it exactly. We don't even have to express it in terms of a variable. Its height is four, its width is two, so the area is going to be four times two, or eight. And we are done.